Hello! In today's recipe vlog, I'm introducing this particular vegetable some of you may or may not be too familiar with. In Burmese, we call this Dentalundi. And in English, according to Google, it's known as Moringa drumstick. Apparently, it's also called Molungai stick. Today, I'm showing you a super, super easy version where you just throw everything into a pot with no time wasted. Traditionally, we add some sort of seafood like catfish or shrimp, but here in Canada, whenever I make this, I usually just leave it meat-free. The basic ingredients you'll need are four drumsticks or stems or stalks for about one to two servings. You also need some tomatoes. You can use as much or as little as you like cilantro, a handful of them, and two small shallots. You can also use an onion if that's what's available to you. Now let's prep the vegetables, starting with the star of the show, the moringa. The best and only method I've seen how to prep is by cutting piece by piece around three inches and peeling the outer dark green layers like so. Basically, you just want to remove the outer layers as much as possible, just because it's on the tougher side. It is okay to leave some green parts as long as the pieces are still intact. This is probably the only part that takes the longest, but I actually find it somewhat therapeutic since I usually have some sort of show or something I'm catching up on at the same time. And once all that's done, I give these a nice rinse, then chop the tomatoes to any size I feel like that day. Chop the shallots, and now it's all ready to go into the pot. Throw all that in, in no particular order. And then, it's time for the seasonings. I'm using a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of chili powder, or you can use paprika, one tablespoon of oil, I'm using canola oil, and one tablespoon of mushroom seasoning. You can also use chicken powder or MSG, but lower the measurements. And of course, one tablespoon of fish sauce for that umami taste and give that a nice gentle mix. Top that with some cold water, basically until it covers all the ingredients. Let it cook on medium heat with the lid partially closed for about 20 minutes. Halfway through, it should be nice and bubbly. Carefully taste the broth. I've burnt my tongue so many times. <laughs> Add about a quarter teaspoon of salt if you feel is needed. For, for me personally, I definitely needed it just because I'll be eating this with rice and I just wanted the taste to be a little bit more on the deeper side. By the time 20 minutes is up, the drumsticks should be fully cooked. You can tell by the faded color or by how it can easily be squished lightly with your fingers. Just be very, very careful not to burn your fingers from the hot steam. And the very last touch is adding a handful of cilantro to make it smell extra yummy.
You can turn off the heat immediately and enjoy this with some freshly made long grain jasmine rice or whatever rice you have. Now how you eat these does require some practice or some patience. It's just like eating shelled shrimp or crab legs. But once you get the hang of it, it tastes so good with rice, some chili paste on the side, and you can even drink the broth on its own. I will link the chili paste, the Burmese chili paste that I've made um, a video of before. So I'll just link it right here or in the description box. And that concludes the end of this vlog. It's been a while since I last posted. Life just has been crazy, crazy, crazy. I hope you've been well and that you're enjoying the changing seasons. It's winter here and I'm looking forward to more snow. I hope you also enjoyed this video. If you'd like to support the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, have an amazing rest of your day, your week, and stay safe out there. See you next time. Bye!